Here are some other key points. Self-certification is permitted. An internal assessor can be used. It has to be an independent assessor, but there's no requirement for an external assessor, assuming you have an internal independent capability to do assessment. Only necessary technical mitigations are required. You can argue does not apply to my system, or that's outside the operational design domain, and here's why we can say that. Those sorts of arguments are fine. So the ones that don't apply don't have to be used if they truly don't apply. Underwriters Laboratories is a nonprofit standards development organization. The voting committee, the STP, Standards Technical Panel, has diverse representation, including various stakeholders from government, from academia, from industry, and consumer advocates. And they are the ones who actually voted on and approved the standard. There's a continuous maintenance process in place to provide timely updates as well. So at, at least at first, we expect that perhaps yearly, the standard will be updated to keep up with the evolving technology. Does 4600 conflict with ISO 26262 or ISO PASS 21448? Definitely not. There were STP members who were tasked with ensuring that, and those STP members were actually on the drafting committees for those other standards. What if you can't afford to buy a copy? Standards can be quite expensive, especially for people who are just trying to take a look and see what's in them. Well, the good news is that UL standards are free to browse, all of them. So you can log on, you can get a free account, and you can see 4600 in its entirety in your web browser without paying anything.